Howdy YouTube. Hey, yeah. It's the winter, and we're trying to save a little more life out of this old Cavalier. It's a 2004, and most of it is actually in pretty good shape. I've kept, I bought it used. Uh, with about 42,000 miles on it. The mechanicals I've kept in pristine condition, changed the oil regularly so we don't have the normal timing chain issues. Uh, all the brake lines I replaced a couple of years ago. And now we've got the standard rocker panel. Cavaliers have a rocker panel rusting issue. They rust like crazy. And after I cut the rocker panels out, there were some unibody frame rail issues that were very rusty, so I cut the bottoms of those out. At the, at the front of the car right here is a higher gauge um, unibody, probably 1 8, maybe 18 gauge steel section that looks like it ties the engine to the rest of the car. And it's, real, it's, it's really pitted and rotted. I cut most of that out. <clears throat> but up in the frame rail, I can't get anything to get that rust out of there, and it's thick and flaky. And uh, I need to get all that rust out of there and get it removed as best as possible. So when I put some, uh, some converter and some sealer up there, some frame, some frame paint that uh, you can spray up there. Eastwood has a can and a tube and you get it up in there. Well, I gotta get all the rust out first, and the only way to do that was to set up a vinegar bath. And so I've got a dishwasher tub here, uh, rare earth magnets to hold the plastic in place, and then I've got two small aquarium pumps in here that are pumping the vinegar up and into the upper parts of the frame rails uh, to get rid of all that rust and we'll let this run for two or three days. We'll take a look at it to see how well uh, the rust has been removed and then we'll move it and adjust it and take care of it from there. Yeah. All we're using is regular aquarium tubing. They're just push fit onto the little fountain pumps. They don't produce a lot of pressure. And then some other tubing and then this is regular white polyline like for a dishwasher ice machine. Uh, if you just put a bolt in the end and then drill little 100,000 inch um, holes in it, however you want them, you want them at 12, 3, 6, 9 o'clock, or if you want them spread so they just kind of shoot out a Y. Obviously don't drill too much because your pump will run out of pressure. But you can snake the sucker after you get the holes drilled into it. You can snake this up into frame rails however you want to. Um, what else do I got here? I use these. This is Tiger Paw under, underlayment for roof decks. This stuff is really handy for straps. You wrap it around the tube and you put a heavy duty uh, uh, hard drive neodymium magnet right there, boom, and it'll hold that tube uh, and you can move them around. Got a whole bunch of straps here that I made up. Uh, we just got regular Visqueen or construction uh, plastic that kind of guides it into the tub and there is no splashing or anything outside the tub and it just keeps doing this cycle and we'll let it go for two or three days and have a look-see and Hopefully that will take care of the rust and then I can uh, seal it and convert it and isolate it and hopefully we can get another 10 years out of this car after I put on new rocker panels and a few other pieces of metal. That's it. We'll talk to you later. Ta-ta.